My name is Calvin Waite, and I trade Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for a living. So I've been wanting to do a video on Monero for quite a while. Monero is one of the few coins that no one has been able to crack the privacy on. And it's been kind of creating a little bit of, of waves because uh, recently the IRS said that they were doing a 620 something thousand dollar bounty if somebody could crack the privacy on Monero. <laughs> And, uh, but I really like Monero. Very, very interesting that, so I'm on the weekly chart here, and we, we have our all-time high at 0.036, and our kind of all-time low, I'm not going to really count these wicks down, this didn't really, but our all-time low, I would put it, you know, Pretty close to 95,000 Satoshis. So we are like nine times higher than our low, and we are a triple away from our all time high. So old coins that started in 2014 trading in a tight range like this in their entire history is so unusual. Most coins, when they're new, or they go through a bear market, they lose 99% of their value. <laughs> and the ones that don't um, are really the exception. And so Monero is a really amazing coin for the fact that it has held its value so well. But most recently, we are, we are really, I'm really liking Monero. The price action on Monero looks incredible. So I'm going to point out a couple of things. First of all, uh, after we kind of broke through our initial double bottom, double top, and we finally cracked through it, we launched, and then we came back down to support right here. This support, I assume, is reminiscent of our, of our first initial resistance. But the interesting thing is, is that this first drop and it was the tips of these wicks here that after we did our 2017 run and then 2018 started our bear market the bear market went all the way down and in October of last year we finally touched down on this same level so this this support has been the most important level on Monero and so I'm going to switch over to daily and I'm going to take a look at these these wicks down here okay so this we got we caught exactly on this line we we kind of came up exited our our um, red zone here and then came near our line again higher high wick down touch the line <laughs> so normally touching a line this many times like we're um, we're almost at five times touching a line but the fact that we have come off of this so many times and now we're showing strength is absolutely amazing this it really this emotionally sells investors on the fact that um, Monero is bullish. We normally, if you touch a line too many times, it sells investors on the fact that people are whittling away and chipping away at that support and that soon we're gonna break through and, and fail. But if you look at the bodies of the candles, bodies on the, on the line, bodies are slightly above the line, bodies are pretty good above the line we had a quick uh, lower low, but now look at these bodies. We, we are moving higher, 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 and today we are sitting at 00825. So most recently, so if we exited this, if you, now 
there's not a huge percent gain to be had right right here with Monero because if we had bought at the end of the red zone at 0 0.0068 and then we exited right in here 0 0.0079 there are other coins that are doing higher than a what is this like a um, 15 to 20 percent gain see I would have a hard time exiting right here because I'm I'm more interested in a higher gain than that but here we had another chance to get in at point zero zero six nine or so and look where we are we are in a green zone right now and this green zone shows a lot of strength a lot of strength so let me break it down for you first of all um, this point became resistance right here so as we kind of consolidated and flattened out and then we started showing a little bit of life you could you could kind of feel the pressure building until we hit our first resistance which was our most recent high and then we came back down and we cracked through it but but kind of got rejected pretty quickly but the fact that we kind of broke through it it, it kind of sold investors on hey we're moving we're moving forward and now we're looking at another level of support that's higher than our previous one now what's interesting here is that this almost almost is a, a double bottom I mean technically from the wicks it's a double bottom but if you look at the bodies the bodies are actually slightly higher so there is actually momentum in this move, even though technically the bottoms, uh, it was a double bottom. Either way, there's actually momentum on a double bottom also. But you can see the upward movement on Monero. So yesterday we had a nice day and we touched the top of our, of our candlestick bodies here. And we're pulling back today. But it's interesting because right now all of the coins are down like almost everything is down and there are very few coins that are showing this slow steady growth and Monero is one of those so I am I am loving Monero right now here's our golden cross and all of our all of our trend lines are really nicely consolidated it's just prime for a nice long slow opening of all of the trends and moving up this this kind of long slow steady is so beautiful because you have plenty of chances to get in and there's not so much hype and so much over exuberance that we get these giant runs where they crash hard this is a slow build momentum and as these as these angles get steeper it gives you more and more chance for a good return. So uh, I think Monero looks really good right now. And I hope that helps any of you that are trading. Hey, thanks for hanging on till the end of the video. If you liked anything I said, please support the channel by subscribing. If not, feel free to leave a comment and I'd be happy to take a look and make improvements to the channel so it'll be better next time.